Hello, and welcome back to Trucking Answers. Today I want to go over off-duty and the actual definition of it, because I'm forever inundated with people that say, oh, you're stuck in traffic, just go off-duty. You're stuck at a dock, just go off-duty. You can't just go off-duty. So let's find out what the actual definition of off-duty is and when we can use it properly. <clears throat> and I know everybody goes off-duty when they're not supposed to, but that, that's not right. The problem is you're not being paid correctly. That's why you do it. This is straight from fmcsa.dot.gov. This is the actual definition. You have to have four things that you have to meet to go off duty. Number one, I wrote it down. You have to be relieved of all duty and responsibility for care and custody of the truck, trailer, and load. Okay, so you have nothing more to do with the load. So unloading your trailer, no. Right, loading the trailer, counting freight, no, that's not off duty. So you have to be relieved of all duty, okay? And you must be at liberty to pursue, this is written on there, activities of your own choosing, including leaving the premises where the truck or trailer is parked. So you have to be able to walk away, go down the street to a restaurant, take a cab to a movie, that's actually uh, an example in there, is go catch a movie. Although I don't know how many drivers are doing that, but you have to be able to do that. <clears throat> you have to be able to go wherever you want. Say you're off and you want to go to the amusement park for the day, whatever it is. You have to be able to leave the property. So therefore, if you're stuck in traffic, you can't leave your truck and go pursue activities of your own choosing. That is not off-duty time. Okay, that is not off-duty. If you're loading the truck, if you can't leave your truck at the warehouse and go wander off somewhere, your company would say no to that. That is not off-duty time. That does not qualify. So number three, you must not be performing work of any kind for the benefit of or with or without the knowledge of this or any other motor carrier. <clears throat> so what does that mean? So you can't be doing anything that they tell you to do. So they say, you know what, bobtail over here and uh, pick up these parts and bring them back. No, they know about it. It's for their benefit. And so no, they go take your truck to the truck wash and get it washed. No, it's for their benefit. That is not off duty time. Okay, so with or without their knowledge. So even things that you're doing, I'll just pick this up for them and, uh, you know, appreciate it. No, that's not off-duty time. Basically, anything having to do with the truck is not off-duty time. You take it to the shop, that's on duty. You're waiting for a tire to come out to you on the road. That is not off-duty time. Anything that you do for the motor carrier, they tell you to do something, that's not off-duty time anything you do for the motor carrier. And the last one is, you can't do any compensated work for a non-motor carrier. So some drivers have a second job somewhere or whatever else that they do that you get paid for is not off-duty time. So you go home and on your off time, you do a second job. Theoretically, anything you did, you go help somebody, they give you $40, that's compensation, that's not off-duty time. Now, would that be checked? I don't think so. But anything that where you work, where it's a legitimate job, absolutely not, that counts. Okay, so what most people do, they take all this off-duty time and they shouldn't, and the real problem is, you're not being paid for the time that you sit around. So don't gripe about the rules, okay? Gripe at your company for not paying you. Go get a decent job. But this waiting in traffic and all that, that is not off-duty time. You have to meet the four requirements that I lined, uh, you know, that I just said there to be considered off-duty. Otherwise, it is not off-duty time. You don't get to take all this other time off-duty, all right? So that's off-duty time. We're going to get into all four of them because I think that there's a misconception. Now, the problem with taking off-duty time so that something happens, somebody hits you, okay? You're just tootling along, somebody hits you, they go look at your logs, and they, every day you've got uh, six times of off-duty where it's eight minutes here, four minutes there, 12 minutes. How are you going to explain that? Okay, you can't. And the reason you're doing it is because you're not being paid properly. Go get a decent paying job and then log legal. So that's the story.